Richard Squirrel Thomas. How are you and and what brings you here to Atlanta all the way from Alabama? Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's uh Miss Miss Bonnie did all of this, you know. She got me out of place and lost as a hungry bear in a glass factory. But I'm with these fine, beautiful people here today. I'm awfully happy. That's good. I can see you're happy. And, you know, it, you have a reason to be happy. You have uh, one heck of a story that I, yes, that I, that I, you know, read your bio. And uh, you're also the author of a very phenomenal book. Uh, tell us a little bit more about your life and the title of your book and what inspired you to write this book. Well, I started off at Alabama State University. I'm Alabama State all the way. I started in the nursery, kindergarten, high school, and BS and master's degree at Alabama State University. And we were taught at Alabama State Lab, that was the high school, you understand me? That uh, to work hard and be the best at whatever we did. And my teachers, my industrial art teacher would tell me, Thomas, if you're on the trash truck, you want to be the best trash man. And I tried to be the best at whatever I did. And now uh, I taught math at a black school in Montgomery, Houston Hill Junior High. And I came up with this modern way of teaching mathematics in 1966. Talk to us about this book. You can, I wrote the book, Draw a Conspiracy, We Only Want the Blacks. Cause this is obvious. The white guys say, some of my friends say, well, Squirrel, they got you for association. I say, I'm playing poker with two of these guys. And these guys come in my nightclub and I'm waiting on them, cleaning that straight. If that's association, I'm guilty. I said, but what did the white guys do? The white guys ran with them. That's how these guys got to know me. I have to ask you, with us celebrating the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King, and who was brutally murdered uh, April 4th, about over 40 years ago, this time to date, you know, what can we do as the younger generation to keep the legacy alive? Well, you know Dr. King believed in nonviolence, and he also believed in working hard and education. I want all my little black boys and poor white boys to kick butt in the classroom. Now, you black guys, we kick butt on the basketball court and the football field. Now we need to kick butt in English, science, computer programming, and take it and make all A's. Your objective is to make all A's in class. You don't have time for any foolishness. You don't want to miss class. You don't want to get put out of school. Be a little perfect gentlemen this is my dream and I want to see all my black boys especially being A students in every class and concentrate on computer programming and English and math like you concentrate on football and basketball just a matter where you put your mind and your priorities. There you go. On that note here in Atlanta, Georgia, at the Carter Center, we want to thank you, Mr. Richard Squirrel Thomas, for taking the time to speak with us here on the La Paz Report. Now, please get this book. You remember, it's called Drug Conspiracy. We only want the blacks. You can also visit Richard Squirrel Thomas's website at www.richardsquirrelthomas.com.